Hi guys, nice to have you back. Today I have a special feature for you. Some of you may be familiar with the Zeiss Icon analog camera system, the Contaflex. I have already published several videos about this camera system. Information and analog photos, scans, taken with the system can also be found on my homepage, aperturone.com. This system was built from 1950 to 1972. The first two models had a fixed lens, all other models had interchangeable lenses. The special thing about this series was that the lenses were so-called set lenses. This means that the lens system consists of two parts. One part, the rear element, is fixed to the camera and contains the shutter and aperture, while the other part, the front element, is interchangeable and attached to the camera with a bayonet mount. The shutter is a leaf shutter. The fact, that all lenses have to share the same rear element, makes the optical calculation particularly difficult and restricts the design of lenses with different focal lengths. As a result, only 35mm, 50mm, 85mm, and 115mm lenses were available for this camera. The maximum aperture in the telephoto range was aperture 4. In the wide angle range there were 3.2 and f4 lenses, and the standard lens kit offered an aperture of 2.8. The kit lens also does not have its own helical focusing mechanism. This fact makes it difficult to adapt to mirrorless digital cameras, as the rear lens group, which is permanently attached to the camera body, and a helicoid for focusing are required. I had already read reports of successful adaptations of these lenses, but was unable to make such an adapter myself. While browsing a large internet marketplace, I found what I was looking for. A, I'll call him Tinkerer, adapts numerous special lenses from the era of analog photography to today's modern mirrorless systems. He also offers an adapter for Contaflex lenses to the Sony E-mount system that I was looking for. You can find a link to the supplier in the description of the video. In this video I will explain the use of the adapter and its special features and show some sample images taken with the 50mm kit lens at close range. In subsequent videos, I will introduce you to the mechanical and optical performance of the other lenses. If you like the video, I would be very happy about a like. Please also subscribe to my channel and enable notifications, that way you won't miss any of my videos. Thank you very much. To attach and remove the front lens groups, the so-called set lenses, a small button must be unlocked. This button is held down during mounting and dismounting. When attaching, the red dot on the set lens is aligned with the red dot on the rear lens group, and the set lens is rotated clockwise until it clicks into place. Pressing the button requires good fine motor skills, which I sometimes lack. Now you can connect the adapter lens combination, as you know it, to your Sony E-mount camera. The adapter is made in such a way that the aperture can be adjusted. The time scale is irrelevant in this combination as the leaf shutter is deactivated. Your Sony camera controls the shutter speed and does so automatically, as the camera measures the light falling on the sensor. I usually shoot with aperture priority, as with this combination. As there is of course no electronic contact between the lens adapter and the camera, you have to manually tell your camera's anti-shake function the correct focal length. Unfortunately, with the 50mm you have no way of reading the depth of field on the scale, as the built-in helicoid and the corresponding Contaflex camera is missing. The subject is brought into focus by turning the helicoid. Focusing to infinity down to the close-up range of around 20cm from the sensor level is possible. And of course this is possible with all set or attachment lenses. The helicoid used is made of metal, is very well manufactured and enables precise and butter smooth focusing. It was lightly oiled to avoid friction and increased wear. I greased it a little more and will of course repeat this if necessary. Metal was also used for the lens bayonet on the camera side. No plastic from the 3D printer, which I find extremely positive. All in all, a first class finish.
Perhaps you too will find original accessories from times long past as wonderfully beautiful as I do. These include old filters, lens caps, lens hoods and, of course, the special plastic boxes in which the lenses can be stored to protect them from dust. Take a moment to look at these beautiful accessories. Then I would like to show you some close-up shots I took with the Carl Zeiss Tesser 2.850mm. Thank you for your interest in my video. And remember, there will be more videos about these lenses to come. I will be testing them on the Sony A7R4. See you soon and stay healthy.